Hello. Yeah, my name is Fola Brown. Yeah, okay, today I just want to let's reason together like seriously. I need you to tell me what the problem is. You see, the issue is the issue with this man. I don't know how, in God's name, a man sees a woman. You like what you see, like beautiful babe. You go and ask her out. And she becomes your friend, you know, like you're dating. You took out to all the restaurants in the world. All the ones you know, even Mama puts you took her there. You took her to classical one, non classical one, everywhere you've taken her, shown her to all your friends. Like, this is the woman for me, the best one, the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. You've taken her to your family, you prided in her, you showed her off. Huh? You were like, seriously, this is the one for me, the bone of my bone and the flesh Ooh, of my flesh. And you propose to her, like, in the middle of a stadium where everybody's watching football. And you know how people can be passionate about football. So you can imagine the amount of people there. You propose to her, ask her, you kneel down, like, seriously, in the new movies. You ask her, my dear, would you like to spend the rest of your life with me? Would you do me the honor of bearing my name for the rest of your life? And she giggles like, you know, the girl is in, oh, 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 Tony, oh, that's very sweet. Yes, I do, I do. She says I do. Hmm? I do. And you called everybody from the north, the east, the south and west of the world. Nigeria, they come, Lagos, everywhere. They are coming, London, they gather. Eh? We wore ridiculous gilly headgears and some flashy colors, like, as, no, strange colors. We wore them lace, how should it be? We came, all of us, serious-minded people that had better business to do. But you called us with special invitation, nice venue, nice food, music, everything. You profess your love before God and man to her. And her friends were there at the corner, jealous in her, eyeing her. Everybody was happy. Even the old ones that were married before felt like getting married again because you were so on point. You know what I'm saying? On point. Cool guy. Like, you know, like something from heaven. And everybody's there. Happy for you. Second year of marriage, she gives birth to a baby boy. Woo! You know how boy is with the men? Boy. Yeah, boy. Second child, a girl. Third child, another boy. Three children for you, you. And one morning, hmm? like one morning, you walk up with your eyes open. You carried your stuff from the house where you paid the rent or the mortgage, whatever it is you're paying. You paid, you woke up, carried your load and packed your things out of the house and left to go and live with a strange woman. A woman that did not, was not there when you were proposing to this girl. You are staying with a strange woman and you leave her to raise your children all by herself. Eh? And one day you would propose to come back and say, that is when the children are getting married. You come and say, oh, I am the father of the bride, you know, I'm the father of the groom. You come, we want to take your place, like seriously, you are the one in charge. Who told you? Look, I am telling you, if you know what is good for you, like before you finish watching this video, wherever you are, carry the phone and call your missus. Call your wife. Apologize. And return back home. You know why? Because if that woman curses you, ah, oh, ni bombe. You know when the Yoruba man tells you, oh, my show, that means the case is hopeless. Hopeless situation, the Yoruba man will look at you and say, oh, my show. So if you don't want your case to be a case of, oh, my show, you carry your load now and return to your woman because your head will never be correct if you are without her you know why because god made her from you god took her out of you so that place from where god took her is vacant and no other woman can fill it up i tell you none because it, it will just be like trying to fit 
a square in a round hole. So nobody can fill that spot where it's vacant. And because that place is vacant, your head, you are not correct. You are not complete. So you cannot think straight. You cannot do straight. So carry your load now wherever you are. Leave the strange woman and a strange business. Let her go and find her own husband. Carry yourself. Go back to your wife. The one that you chose yourself. You married her yourself. So you will love her. Think about the love that you had for her. On that day when you proposed to her. When you did everything. You even borrowed money said, because of this wedding. Yes. I know. Yeah, I know these things now. So you go back to her. And madam. Hmm, madam. You, I know. I know it's hard for us to keep our mouth because we like to run it like that. You know, it's God's gift to us. Before the man says one thing, we have said ten. Where? And you want him to stay? He will not stay. The Bible says to honor your wife, your husband, sorry. Then here you see now, don't confuse. And they call her wife. Some of us have turned our husbands to wife. No, it's your husband. Treat him like your Lord. Your semi-Lord on earth. So when he comes back, respect, cook a goosey soup, correct, kneel down, and service him proper like a wife should do. Accept the apology and you two beg him and apologize. Ah uh ah, -uh, how can you stay there and allow one miserable strange woman hmm, who did not suffer with you to come and take your place in one night? No, it can never be. So I tell you, man, go back to your wife. It doesn't pay. No, you can you you can never you can never be right. I tell you, no jokes apart. You can never be right. You have to go back to that woman whom you married. Yeah, go back to her and work things out. Love her, and she would respect you and honor you. And together, you will never be broken. Yeah, this your girl, Fuller Brown. Yeah, no, I'm thinking now. No, it's not to The girl too can think. Yeah, so I'll see you next time when there's something else to think about. Yeah. Stay blessed. God bless you.